I never thought you British could get so emotional, especially in a public place. I apologize for my compatriots. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind being called names or pushed around or even kicked in the shin. But now I have a ladder and my last pair of nylons. In case you are not familiar with our prison regulations, no silk stockings. Prison? Will I go to prison? You heard the learned judge will quite certainly be charged with perjury, tried for it, and to prison you shall go. Well, it won't be for life, will it? If I were appearing for the prosecution, it would be. You loathe me, don't you? Like the people outside. What a wicked woman I am, and how brilliantly you exposed me and saved Leonard's life. The great Sir Wilfred Robarts did it again. Well, let me tell you something. You didn't do it alone. You had help. What are you driving at? I'm not driving at anything anymore. Leonard is free and we did it. We? Remember? When I came to see you and you said that no Jewy would believe an alibi given by a loving wife, no matter how much she swore her husband was innocent, that gave me the idea. What idea? The idea that I should be a witness. Not for my husband, but for the prosecution, that I should swear Leonard was guilty and that you should expose me as a vicious liar because only then would they believe Leonard was innocent. So now you know the whole story, Sir Wilfred. I'll give you something to dream about, mister. Wanna kiss me, ducky? I suspected something, but not that. Never that. Thank you for the compliment. It's been a long time since I was an actress, and I never before played such an important role. And all those blue letters? It took me hours to write them, to invent Max. There never was a Max. There's never been anyone but Leonard, only Leonard. My dear, could you not have trusted me, worked with me truthfully and honorably? We would have won. I could not run that risk. You see, you thought he was innocent. And you knew he was innocent, I understand. No, Sir Wilford, you do not understand at all. I knew he was guilty. That can't be so. No! Listen to me once and for all. Leonard came home a few minutes past ten. He did have blood on his sleeves. He did tell me he had killed the woman. Only I could save him. He pleaded with me. And you saved him, a murderer? Again, you don't understand. I love him. 